As new oil and gas wells are initially brought online, the flow rate is typically strong and is referred to as being above critical flow. Critical flow rate is the gas velocity that is required to keep fluids from accumulating in the tubing string. This is due to the initial bottom hole pressure being greater than the combined hydrostatic weight of the fluids and the wellhead back pressure, also referred to as sales line pressure. The associated fluids being produced with the gas through the tubing string are initially in an annular flow. As bottom hole pressure and production volume begin to decrease and gas flow declines, fluids move from an annular flow to a transition flow. Over time, with decreasing production rates and bottom hole pressure, the well falls below the critical flow rate and liquid fallback begins to occur and moves to a slug flow condition, causing the well to show signs of liquid loading. This loading process will continue until the liquids collecting in the tubing string are equal to or greater than the reservoir pressure of the formation.